I thought I'd mix it up a little bit in today's video. And it's also a question that I get asked every now and then. So I figured I would address it today. And that's, what the heck is in my camera bag? You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. So I tend to carry a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I overpack pretty much any time I go out. I've gotten better at in recent years, I used to be really, really bad, but I still tend to bring a little bit more than I probably should because you just never know when you might need it. So my bag's usually packed full of stuff and I'm not gonna show you every single thing. I kinda wanna show you some of my favorite things and key items that I use pretty much every single time I go out and shoot. So let's kick things off with the first thing. And that's a little tripod. And this is the switch pod flicks out, super stable. And it also allows you to like vlog with it. It's like a built-in ergonomic angle to properly shoot yourself right in the face hole. I actually got one of the very first ever releases of this and I never went back to a Gorillapod after I started using it. I thought I'd hate this thing because you can't really adjust the legs. It doesn't come with a ball head. So you have to put a ball head on it and that helps with leveling and I used to use a Gorilla Pod, and you would be able to get any angle you want, and it's really nice. However, as I used the Gorilla Pod over time, the balls wore out on it, and I was noticing my camera starting to droop, and that's not good. Um, and because especially if you're putting on a really nice, high-end, expensive camera, and that camera could fall over and get damaged. So I pretty much just chucked that away, and been solely using this since like 2000. 18? Maybe 2019? Probably 2019 actually. And it's still going strong. I use this for digital photography, video, and instant photography. If it's a low light situation, I am able to put it on the tripod and take some photos, which leads me into the next item. And that is a remote shutter switch button trigger goes by many names. So this exclusively works on the Polaroid SX70 cameras, as well as the SLR uh, 680, 690, basically any SLR Polaroid camera, and it works on it. I'm not sure if this is an official one. It sort of looks homemade, but like a really, really high-end done one. I got this years ago, and use cases for this is if it's in a low light situation, or if I wanted to take you know, a group shot or a selfie, and I'm able to, get some serious distance. <laughs> it's a pretty freaking long and yeah, I don't go anywhere without this. The next thing is RGB lights and I've talked about these a ton. These are super valuable. I have tons of them. They're great. I usually have two or three of them in my bag at all times. You just never know when you might need to light up a little scene, a little area, back corner, splash, or just onto the subject itself. I use these for digital photography, video, and instant photography. I've done some videos breaking these down a little further. You can find those in the description below if you want to check it out. Next up is this little guy. <laughs> I've been using this thing for the past five years or so. I love it. What is it exactly? This is a USB drive, but it's a little special. It is uh, made by SanDisk and it's called the iXpand and it plugs into your iPhone. Yeah, sorry, Android users. I think there is a version that they have uh, for you, but this one's the iPhone version. Uh, I'm a PC user except for my iPhone. So I don't have the option of airdropping a lot of times. So if I wanna get footage off of my phone, I just plug this bad boy into it and transfer it to my computer. It's super fast and really convenient. And if I just wanna swap footage from my phone to a, give it to a friend or whoever, I'm able to do so. Really handy. And speaking of iPhone, sometimes I actually go out shooting exclusively with my iPhone to shoot video, that is. I mean, obviously I still shoot photos with it, but in the last year or so, I've actually been shooting video more on my iPhone. Phones are getting pretty dang good. <laughs> so I've gotten this iPhone 12 Pro Max, that's the current phone I have. It's a uh, camera cage made by Small Rig. It also has a sweet removable handle. I can rig this up and shoot video. It has two cold shoe mounts, so I can put a microphone on there, I can put a light, whatever I really want on there. It has threading options for extra goodies and even lens attachments built in if I wanna use some of the lenses made by Moment or even Small Rig, because they have some now, I believe. This whole cage was surprisingly not expensive. I wanna say it was like 30 to 40 bucks and you got a handle. Really nice. 
Next up is this microphone. I use this Rode Micro, it's called. <laughs> I, I love this thing. It doesn't require any batteries whatsoever. This thing's not too expensive either. It's like a $50 mic. And I think it works fantastic. It has a giant wind muff, it comes off, it's small, it fits in a bag, and I can use this on my iPhone when I want to shoot. I just have to pop this off and pop on a uh, mobile adapter, which I won't go into technical terms, but I also have the uh, dongle to plug into the phone, and now I'm good to go. I can slap this on the camera cage and set up a light, throw this on the tripod, and boom, Bob's your uncle down there shooting some fun videos. And it sounds pretty dang good. I mean, when you see my videos, when I'm outside the studio, this is the mic I use. Well, maybe not this exact one, I have another one. <laughs> Where is that one? Maybe this is it. Now, when I'm out there shooting, especially with my phone, I need to make sure the battery stays charged. And well, I use this. I mean, I've got tons of power banks out there, but look how cool this one is. This looks like an old Walkman from Guardians of the Galaxy, the Sony Walkman, was it TPL12? TPS? 12, L1, something, I can't remember. Um, I should know that because I very much would love to have one. Uh, that is seriously at the top of my list to own. But I digress, this is a phenomenal power bank. It has 16,000 milliwatt hour battery, it's crazy. And it has multiple options on how you can charge with it. It has a regular, was it USB type A? I think is what's called uh, for output. And it also has two options for charging the bank itself. You can use micro USB or USB-C and the USB-C is also an out. So you can charge your phone that way or whatever device you want. But not only does it have those, on the back it has a wireless, what, Qi charger I think it's called, pretty sweet. Oh, and you can also charge it with a DC uh, port. Mine didn't come with that. I actually got this secondhand from good friend Caleb and Alex on, I guess, one of their thrifting uh, journeys. They found this and they knew I really wanted one because Alex owns a real one <laughs> and I really want it. Speaking of power, batteries. I usually keep uh, a set of four of AA and AAA batteries in my bags. So no matter what, I have batteries for anything I might be eating. And I recommend the Allmax batteries. From my research and tests, these things are phenomenal. I bought a box of 100 of them off Amazon in early 2020, possibly even late 2019. And I'm still using the batteries. And I use a lot of them here at the studio. These things work like really well, like they hold a charge for a long time. So yeah, I, I really recommend these Allmax batteries, link in the description. Yeah, these have my seal of approval. So another thing in my bag that I don't always use, but it depends on what camera I'm using at the time. And I don't always have an SLR camera with me, but this is always in my bag anyway, just in case. Uh, and that is the Mint Flash Bar 2. It's small, thin-ish. It slides in the bag and just kind of lives there. So I always know where it's at. And this thing's really great. Uh, I really recommend it. Kind of expensive though, but I, I, I'd say it's worth it. Next up is this guy. This is the X37 lens adapter for the Polaroid SX70 camera. Kind of like with the Mint Flash Bar 2, I don't always bring a Polaroid SX70 camera with me, so this doesn't get used every single time. However, it does live in my bag because you never know when I bring it, I don't have to think about where it is. If I am gonna shoot my SX70 camera, I just have it there. It's really great. I recommend it. You can thread on extra lenses. You can put wide angle lenses on there, telephoto lenses, macro lenses, some really fun stuff you can do. I've done videos on this as well, and you can find that in the, the description. And the other thing would be film, <laughs> but I usually just bring that on case by case basis, depending on what I'm shooting that day. Now you may be asking yourself, well, you're talking about the stuff in your bag. Where's your bag? Well, I have two bags that I use. You know the first one. I've shared it multiple times. It is fantastic. But that bag is really only good for storing one camera, an extra pack of film, and the flash bar. That's pretty much it. Can't really do much more with it. But when I'm going out traveling, I, I like this bag. It's not the best bag, mind you, but it does serve my needs. And that's this guy. This is the Tenba. I don't remember the model number. <laughs> I'll try and find the exact model of this and leave a link in the description. But I've been using this bag since 2019 and I've not really gone back. It's pretty customizable, it has a lot of pockets. You can do some fun stuff with it. And as you may see on the side here, it has a perfect side pouch 
for an SX70 camera. I mean, it's not protected, but it's really convenient if you want to just quickly uh, pack it away and be on the road. It opens from the back, not the front. Everything is fully customizable on the inside here. You can have everything laid out to whatever you need. And what's really cool is it has a side uh, quick uh, access pouch, and in there it has this little carrying case. And I store batteries and things for my cameras uh, and whatever else I need in there, like cables and extra lenses for cameras, which is pretty cool. I'm not gonna go too much into this bag, but I really do like it. It has served my needs. It's not the best one, but I've, I've definitely used worse. So those are just a few of the things I carry in my camera bag when I head out into the real world. What is in your little camera bag or camera kit? Let me know in the comments below. Let's chat. I always love finding new and cool things. Hopefully you found this video helpful and that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Now, get out there, make some art.